Hey, this will be a video chart on HHSE. Don't think I've ever done a video on this one, or at least under the sticker symbol, but people have been alerting me to it uh, down more in this area, and um, you know, I didn't play it or anything like that, but a nice job to those who did accumulate. Um, but the main question that I really got in today was, you know, what do I think about today? And I'm assuming uh, what people meant by that was, you know, given that the price w opened up way up here, then at one time had dropped down here before closing up here, uh, what are my thoughts on the crazy day? And really that's kind of a, a, a two-way street in a sense. Uh, if you're a day trader, then, you know, I'm sure you're loving all this sorts of action. Um, and uh, from that perspective, you know, you, there's certain things you're going to want to look for, but uh, from the longer term player or swing trader perspective, uh, really there's different things you're going to want to keep looking for. And that's, that's the take on what I'm going to, um, you know, um, analyze the chart today is from the swing traders, uh, you know, viewpoint on things. So really the, the easiest way to kind of sum this one up again, if you're a day trader, uh, not really, uh, pertaining to you here, but you're going to want to keep an eye on the 200 day simple moving average. If the price can remain above here, uh, then the daily chart is just going to look, uh, you know, extra, extra good. And it's going to continue to draw more eyes to it. Uh, if you're not familiar with charting, the 200-day simple moving average is a, a key level of support and resistance. And now that the price is above it, uh, it has turned into a, an important level of support. So uh, ideally, and you know, best case, 0.024 is going to be the price that you want to see uh, hold as support. Now, if it doesn't hold, uh, by no means is that the end of the kind of end of the road or end of the chart because you still have another uh, key level of support that's sitting down here and that's coming from actually first let me just change just the green to remind everybody of support I'm going to make this line extra thick to represent it being uh, pretty important but this level right here at 0.022 is important because if we go back and look at the history you can see acted as support there acted as support there and then when the price did fall below it, you can see lots of price history with it right around here so 0.022 uh, is important and if that one doesn't hold then uh, you know, it'll probably come back down here and retest these previous lows. But given that the price is way up here, you know, that'd take quite a bit for it to, to fall down there. So that's why this is an important level of support. But again, if you were to ask me what would make the chart look the best, if it could come down here, hold above the 200 day and then head back up, you know, that'd really make the chart look strong. But again, even if it were to come back down here, consolidate before heading back up, then remember this set of lows would be higher than this set. So when we draw our trend line, we'd be able to still draw a nice upwards trending trend line, and that's the name of the game. Now, in terms of resistance levels, we have a little batch of highs right here, um, and that's going to be right up here at 0.031. And then after that, another batch of highs you can see here, basically three out of four days came right up there and hit its head at 0.033. So these will be the two key areas of uh, resistance. But at this point, after today's action, I'm more curious to see how it consolidates and see how these support levels act. But uh, who knows if it keeps on uh, moving upwards. Uh, these will be great uh, indicators of just how strong an, any sort of breakout is. Obviously, the easier it breaks through these resistance levels, uh, you know, the stronger the breakout is. So that's where the chart currently stands overall. Nice looking chart, sure. I know people would have rather have it closed green, but again, you got above the 200-day simple moving average, and that in and of itself is, is a nice thing to see. If there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook, and with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together, so I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the chart and what your strategy is with it going forward. One more time, this was HHSE. Thanks for listening.